Help us understand the coach's mindset. You have a team that's right there on the cusp of the college football playoff, but you need style points to get back in the discussion. You've got a quarterback that's injured who's going to be a top five pick. How do you balance that? Well, it's tough, and I will say this. You don't see Nick Saban shook up very often. I think that he was a little bit shook up there. Uh, he's put in a tough spot because, as you said, he's got to balance winning a game be and, and balance uh, the health of his players. But I think most coaches, and I think Nick as well, would usually err on the side of player safety. I know that I always erred on the side of player safety. You never go into a game thinking a player is going to get hurt. You just don't think that way. But here's the caveat. This young man was injured. This young man was not 100%. This young man, most of his game relies on, or a lot of his game relies on being able to get out of the pocket and make things happen with his legs. And what happened is here, he could not elude the rush. Big linemen are catching him from behind. And so I think as a coach, you always have to make sure that player safety is paramount. I think that's your responsibility as a college coach. And I'm not saying that Nick did or did not do that. I wasn't in his mind. I'm just saying that's what you have to do. That is more important than anything, especially yep. when you're talking about head, neck, and spine it, injuries. It needs to be more important than anything. I'm not convinced that it is. And this situation, it frustrates me, it irks me, and honestly, it breaks my heart, mainly because I've been in that position. I, I've gotten hurt on the football field, had to scratch and claw my way up there. Again, Coach talked about it from a coaching aspect. Let me talk to you about it from a player's aspect. A player will always want to play for several reasons. They don't want to let their teammates down, their coach down, the, the media down. They want to be viewed as that super strong macho man that society has made athletes out to be, even if it's to their own detriment. 2014, playing the Tennessee Titans, I get hurt. I tear my groin second degree. We have to play four days later, 72 hours and change later against the Dallas Cowboys on national television Thanksgiving game. I'm from Dallas, so you better believe I'm going to play. Could I walk? No. Could I run? Absolutely not. But in 72 hours, I somehow got cleared. Thankfully, my linebacker coach, Billy Davis, he says, Acho, we're not going to play you. You will be a break glass if needed player. My point being, gentlemen, is that a player will always want to play. But that's not always wise. That's why I hope a coach, a 68-year-old future Hall of Fame coach and his training staff can say, you know what, I understand you want to play. And, and, and I, I, I bless that you want to play, at least the courage there, but just don't do it. Here's what has to happen, okay? And, and I think this is what happens at most places, is that your medical staff and your athletic trainers have to be empowered to make the decision yes. whether or not a player plays or not. It needs to be taken out of the hands of the player and out of the hands of, of the, the coach. coaches. Yep. Now, in order to do that, they have to get consistent information from the player as to how he's and, feeling, but that you can't pressure them yes. either. And that's and, where you were going to go, and, right? Yes, and with that, Coach, you're, coach is touching on a, a topic that we don't have enough time for, but I'll say this and I'll try to say it succinctly. There's so much pressure in college football to win, and it starts from the top with boosters to coaches, and it trickles down to the medical staff. We've seen worse things happen on a football field, and hopefully it stops, but there's so much pressure to win and win now that we overlook the health of our athletes. And we're and talking about a player that was injured going in. Right? Yes. This, this right. is a violent, yes. tough, physical Injuries game. happen. Guys are going to get hurt, but it's different when you're dealing with a player who's coming off of an injury. Yes, that's, that's what we're talking about. Out of the hands of the player and the coach. And What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.